Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at how to apply um, different materials, textures and shaders to objects that we create in Unity. So, right now I have um, just a project open already in Unity and I have this main scene open as well which doesn't have any objects in it yet but I'm about to create a just a rectangular prism object in Unity and then I'm going to add some uh, textures and shaders. So, first thing I'm going to create the object. So, click on game object, 3D object and then I'm going to create a cube. Okay, so I have a cube here. I'm going to grab the scale tool and I'm just going to turn this into a bit of a wall. So, I'll just orbit around and maybe just like that. Okay, all right, so I'm happy with that. So I've just got this wall here, and the first thing that I'll do is I'm just gonna add a um, color to it, and then I'm gonna go um, a bit further and use an image as a texture, and it's gonna be like a brick wall kind of pattern. Okay, so to create a texture, we can go up to Assets, and then Create, and then, sorry, we're creating a material, not a texture. So go to assets, create, and then material. We'll give it a name, and we'll just call this one red. So I'm gonna pick a color, and it'll be red. Okay, so in Unity, um, materials contain properties um, and textures. So material con contains properties and textures, and shaders dictate which properties and which textures that a material can have. So if we click on this, um, <coughs> click on this um, material here. We can have a look in the inspector. We can look at the different properties here. Under shader, there's a few different types of shaders that we can choose from. So right now, it's just a standard. All right, we've just got a standard sh shader. And that gives us an option here of clicking on this color box to pick a color. So I've called this um, material red. So I'm going to here from the color picker, I'm going to pick um, a nice red color, maybe that one. Okay, so you can pick a range of different colors. And you can see here now that this material is um, red. Okay, now all I need to do is drag that onto the object and now it's red. Okay, so it's pretty easy to create a colored um, material like that. All right, now this time we're going to create a brick wall texture. So what I'm gonna do is go up to assets, click on create, and then material. All right, now this time I'm going to call it brick wall, okay? Um, I've got a materials folder here. I should actually go back. I might just rename that to textures. And so I'm gonna click on this brick wall here and basically with this brick wall material it's got nothing at the moment it's got no properties really set there at all but i'm going to go into my textures folder and i've already got a texture file open here it's just a jpeg image and it's just a brick wall image but it's a repeating pattern so it's tileable you can look up images on google and you can search for different images like you know grass patterns or brick wall patterns or water patterns um, but make sure if you're wanting to repeat these patterns or images over an object make sure you search for them um, and just add the keyword of either seamless or tileable or repeating just so you get a nice repeating pattern like that all right so I'm going to drag that into my textures folder here in unity all right so now it's there all right there's a texture I'm going to go back to my main assets folder here and I'm going to click, click on the brick wall material and I'm going to change the shader from standard to uh, diffuse. So there's a few different options here you can see. Diffuse is the default shader. Um, so with the diffuse shader light is evenly distributed across the surface of the object that you apply it to. There is also a specular and specular basically just gives the object a shiny surface okay um, and there's a few other ones there as well like um, bumped as well so bumped diffuse and bumped specular we are going to choose diffuse 
All right, now with diffuse, you can give it a color, but we have this option here as well to pick a texture. So if we click on select, you can see that that brick wall texture is already there. So we can double click on bricks. And now you can see this material has a brick wall texture. There's a few other properties here as well. So we've got tiling. Um, so basically with tiling, we, we can define how often the texture repeats across the X and Y axes of the object. And there's also offset. So that defines um, basically if a gap will exist between the edges of the object and its texture. Okay, so we can grab, grab this brick wall material, we can drag it onto the object, and now this object has a brick wall texture. All right, I'll just go over this side where the light is actually pointing to. All right, we can click back on that material, we can change some properties, so we could um, change the tiling on the x-axis there, we could you know, just increase that number and notice that the bricks actually get a bit smaller or we could lower the number and the see so you can see that the bricks actually stretch out on the um, x-axis there okay we could do it same for the y-axis there so we can make those bricks a little bit um, a little bit um, bigger or a bit taller just stretch them out a bit but basically I think a tiling of one to one there in the X and Y axis actually looks pretty good as well um, so you could also fiddle around with the um, oops, could also fiddle around with the offset there as well but basically you mainly just need to um, fiddle around with the tiling there on the X and Y axis if you see or if you think that the bricks are a little bit stretched out or um, if it doesn't quite look right. So we might need to still fiddle around with that, but that's basically how to um, add an image as a texture and um, how to create a material there with a, a texture. All right, so that's basically it. How to add colors um, to an object and also how to add different textures there. All right, um, what we might do is we might just drag this red one on again Okay, but um, we might just change this to a uh, specular shader. Okay, see, now that's a little bit more shiny. So if you have a look down here at the preview, I'll just go back to standard. Okay, so um, the light's pretty evenly distributed across there. Now if we change it to specular, see now it's a lot more shiny. Okay, it's a lot more shiny there. Um, so there's a few different shaders there that we can choose from. And then you can always just change the material of an object by dragging a material from the assets folder straight onto the object. Okay, there you go. And when you change the properties of a material here in the inspector panel, it will apply to all of those objects that have the material in the scene. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.